Hi, this is Alan from Alpers Group, and uh, we use several um, software systems for um, deal sourcing and um, project evaluation. That's either for investment or for development. And uh, I'm just going to show you around uh, one of them now. Um, this is the one which we've found is the um, most efficient way of uh, getting leads uh, for deals of any sort. So it's called uh, Property Filter, and uh, Basically, what we do is we set up um, various searches within Property Filter for different things that we're looking for. So this could be freehold to leasehold blocks of flats. Uh, there's one here for a care home, which we looked at. Commercial property generator leads, um, residential leads, um, another one for commercial property leads. Chichester, this is for holiday lets, and Guildford area, this is for commercial to residential, and also for uh, purchase lease options. So um, basically, um, Property Filter allows you to um, set up uh, filters to look for properties of different sorts in particular postcodes, so you can uh, preset the um, filters and then property filter will look for uh, properties that you uh, define in terms of your uh, sourcing pipeline um, uh, for you overnight while you're sleeping uh, property filter will be searching for you and then you can uh, save your um, leads uh, such that they've been uh, identified by property filter you can then review them one by one so this is one that we set up earlier uh, let's have a, have a look at the details here this is a four bedroom detached house in Guildford it's been available for 358 days and this um, shows that the price has been reduced on this particular property um, several times um, subject to contract in all that time um, and this uh, could be worth us looking at in terms of um, redevelopment for the garden area subject to planning permission or possibly extension uh, using permitted development rights so that that's one four bedroom house in the uh, Guildford area G, GU 10 5RP, uh, which could be suitable for uh, purchase. It was last sold on the 24th of July 2020. And Property Filter gives us a lot of information about the uh, history of the uh, project, gives us a lot of intelligence so that before we negotiate for the sale, uh, we can identify, we've just searched for detached houses here, four bedroom detached houses, but we could change the search criteria to be semi-detached house, terraced house, house, or bungalow. Go back to our sourcing pipeline. So this is property filter prompting us to do due diligence on certain of the uh, properties that we've um, told it to look for for us. And then the next stage would be to organize a viewing, then to make an offer, then to follow up, and then offer accepted. So basically what Property Filter does is it takes the um, information from all of the software platforms such as Zoopla, On The Market, Right Move, and it filters them uh, to the criteria that you establish, and it basically saves you hours and hours of trolling through, scrolling through these platforms, looking for deals, and it does the hard work for you. So that's why we use Property Filter. And um, we've identified a few opportunities um, using Property Filter, and uh, we'll continue to use it for our deal sourcing. And we'll report on successes in uh, the near future. Our internet connection is a bit slow at the moment, so that's why it's uh, not loading well. Um, so we'll return to Property Filter on another occasion, and we'll also show you some of the other software we use 
for um, uh, deal sourcing, which is uh, search land and uh, property data. We also use some other software as well, but in terms of um, labor saving um, and accuracy of um, uh, fulfillment of the criteria that you're looking for, we think uh, Property Filter is uh, a great tool uh, to use for deal sourcing and packaging. That was the one deal that we looked at. The next one here has been withdrawn. That was um, land at Burnt Hill Road. That one was sold. This one was sold. That was withdrawn. After having been reduced, that one was sold. That one was sold. This one was sold. This one is available and it's um, 1.3 million. We'll have a look at this one. It's commercial site and it's on for, it's been on the market for 532 days. Good thing about property filter is it's constantly being improved and uh, they even do a direct vendor letter uh, facility now within the platform which wasn't available last year so it's uh, really amazing the way they keep making improvements to the product yeah we've looked at this one before and um, it's not that interesting at that price need to do uh, due diligence on this one and just um, evaluate what the potential is is possibly one for um, class Q uh, which is uh, permitted development of agricultural buildings but um, at that price it's uh, somewhat overrated I would say uh, 1.3 million for what is basically a shed yeah so there's a lot of yeah it's not not an attractive site to us at all a lot, lot of work to be done services to be brought to the site what do you do with uh, drainage uh, so water connection electricity connection and it's on the Aldershot Road although it's a GU postcode it's actually in Walpolston area yeah too expensive I think okay uh, so that's all for this video if you're interested in um, deal sourcing or um, packaging then uh, you can call me that's Alan at Alpers Group we've got lots of deals from different sources uh, including from Property Filter we also get um, deals from um, UK Distressed Properties and also from the Penn Network and other property networks that we belong to. So if you're looking for a deal anywhere in the UK, then you can call me. That's Alan at Alpers Group on 07539141257 or 0333224157. Um, you can uh, schedule a call with me at calendly.com slash alanje or you can just drop me an email at alan at alpersgroup.com uh, setting out your requirements and then uh, we'll we'll get back to you uh, with what deals we we have available that um, meet your criteria cheers for now